How much more do we have to go? We do believe that uh, uh, 2020 borrowed some of the returns from 2021. We do think stocks will be higher in uh, uh, 2021, but less than earnings. Uh, our guess is the earnings will be up more than 20% with another fiscal package that might be 25 or more. Uh, but we think mar- the stock market will not keep up with earnings. In other words, we'll see some compression in multiples as interest rates and inflation um, move up a bit. Still stocks higher, but not, to, not as much as earnings. All right. People have been talking about this rotation into cyclicals, which seems to be gaining steam today. You see the Russell 2000 outperforming ahead of the open. You also see financials, uh, in some cases, up more than 3% as people price in a higher, a steeper yield curve. How much more do you plan on piling into these trades? Do you think that they have legs? I do think there's more coming. Uh, that was one of our predictions even expecting the Republicans to gain at least one of those Georgia seats. With the, the, the Senate going Democratic, it probably increases the speed and the magnitude of the rise in those cyclical names, value, small cap, at the expense of uh, bigger cap and uh, some of the big, high expensive growth stocks. So there's also a question about higher yields, how much higher they can go and what that does to tech. Do you see that becoming a major headwind, a major disruption to the rally in the big tech names? I do think it's an issue. Uh, The consensus forecast for 10-year treasuries at the end of the year is between 120 and 130. Our guess is it will be 150 or higher, um, which is enough of a difference for us to say, yeah, this is an out-of-consensus thing we need to talk about. I don't think it necessarily causes stocks to go down, but it's part of our not up as much as earnings, and the uh, the composition of what works well is probably not very high PEs that have done so well in a nearly zero interest rate environment.